Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with our daily advice for December 13th, 2017. Thank you for joining me. Um, apologies, I wasn't able to do the Monday and Tuesday readings. Um, we took a, a weekend trip and because we had um, heavy snowfall uh, where I am, it took us a while longer to get home. Um, so apologies for that. Um, and so as always, we're going to look at the energies that surround us at this time, what we need to know about these energies and how we can use them for our highest good. So today's message seems to be um, a reminder to first to go back to what really is important, to what really matters, okay? And it's our own peace of mind, okay? It's, it's about peace and, and harmony. Um, the first card that we have, representing the influence of the past on our current situation, we have the Knight of Pentacles, and this is about loyalty. So with the Knight of Pentacles here, this talks about a time in our lives that um, took effort and dedication. Um, it is with the Knight of Pentacles, it's something that we have started, it moves slowly, it takes a lot of attention, care, resources of any kind, time, energy, money, um, and there's a plan we need to follow, there, there are rules we need to follow, and so it can talk about a time in our lives where we've had to be loyal to something in, in our outside circumstances. Um, where we had to sacrifice our peace and quiet time for, you know, actually going out, getting a job or getting a better job, or uh, we've had to sacrifice spending time with uh, friends and family, or we've had to sacrifice rela relaxing, um, or spending more time focusing on our health, or spending more time focusing on our spirituality, on our peace of mind and well-being because we had other obligations at the time or we had to focus on a job, getting a job, doing a good job. Maybe we were in a job that um, was very demanding. And so it, it was a question of loyalty, but it was a situation where we were responsible. So we had to follow the rules. We had to do what was expected or we had to do what we had to do to take care of the people we needed to take care of, to provide. Um, for the people we're responsible for and so on and so forth. And so that is what is influencing us today. Because when we choose something to be loyal to, then we end up making sacrifices in other areas. Because we prioritize something, that's what that means. We make something a priority to the detriment of other things. In today's energy, we have the Five of Wands, and this is about competition. So with the Five of Wands here, this is inner conflict. Um, it's, again, being pulled in even more directions. Um, this is a little bit of struggle, struggling energy because of what is expected or what is demanded um, of us during this time. It is a change with the number five. However, it's something that will take more from us. Okay, more time, more energy, more resources, um, more commitment and dedication. And so it can be an opportunity for career advancement. It can be opportunity for applying for a job or getting a better job. Um, it can be an opportunity to take on more responsibilities with work or other areas in our lives, okay? Um, it would constitute a change. However, once again, it would demand even more from us, okay? Um, and that's where we see the internal conflict come in because we feel under pressure. We feel like we have to make a choice. We feel like we have to give people an answer. We feel like we have to... Um, take what is being presented to us because we feel a sense of um, responsibility. But this is to other people, to other people outside circumstances because the internal conflict is there because we would like to do one thing, but we feel like our outside circumstances are taking us in a different direction and it's not like we have a choice. So that's where the internal conflict comes from. 
the five of wands here with the competition it's a reminder that it is our choice so there may have been a time when our hands were tied there may have been a time when we had to make sacrifices but it's always good to reassess especially when we have opportunity for change it's always good to reassess is this still the case can I now do things differently? Have I overcome whatever difficult time I was going through when I took on that extra weight or responsibility? Can I do things differently this time? Am I happy with how things are going? Do I want to change them by taking on more or do I want to change them by saying no to some things or some people, okay? And it's a reminder that we can and should reassess and make the choices that bring us peace and balance not internal conflict and not a sense of pressure and stress. The energy that we're moving into tomorrow with, we have the High Priestess, and this is about intuition. With the High Priestess, this is telling us to use our wisdom, to use our intuition, to do what feels right, to do what feels good, what makes us happy, but not happy in a sense of getting a high off something or getting, you know, um, our adrenaline pumping happy in a peaceful way, happy, content, fulfilled, at peace, in harmony. And it's very important that we also think about the long-term consequences of our choices today because our future is what we do today, the consequences of what we do today, the consequences of the choices that we're making today. We're planting seeds, we're always planting seeds, and that will take us to our future. And so with the High Priestess here, it tells us to rely on our own intuition and to do what is right, to do what is the balanced option, the balanced approach, okay? This is the number two, it's all about balance and thinking about the long term and doing the healthy thing um, to remind ourselves what is important to us, what gives us that sense of peace and fulfillment and it may be a good stable financial situation, however, that may have changed along the way. And maybe now we get a sense of peace and harmony from seeing that everyone around us is happy and healthy or focusing on our family or focusing on our friends or focusing on our relationships. Um, it may be that our job was everything to us. But again, maybe if we stop and reassess, we realize that, well, actually, that may not be the case anymore. I don't want to be a career man or woman anymore. I have other pursuits in mind. And so it's always a good thing to check with ourselves to go within and to check with ourselves if something feels okay if something doesn't feel that well that right that positive and to just decide to adjust accordingly so that we keep the balance in our lives so that we maintain a sense of peace and calm and serenity because that's how we manifest more reasons to feel at peace and to feel happy and to feel joyful and fulfilled in whichever area of life this applies to. And our guidance card is number two, another two, red, free yourself from pain. So again, free yourself from pain. Don't let people push you, force you, uh, pressure you. Don't put pressure on yourself is also the message of this card. It's about balance. And with the red color, this is about action and courage and strength. And so we will find ourselves today reconsidering certain things in our lives that we can now change. And so it's important to look at them and see if we want to change something then to act on that. Uh, when it comes to opportunities, it's important to be discerning, okay, with the number two. And to choose wh whichever path frees us from pain, from difficulty, from struggle, from conflict, from stress, from um, anxiety. And again, it's reminding us that we have the power to do that. It's our actions um, that manifest one scenario or another in our lives, okay? It's definitely within our hands. And so go for the balanced opportunity. Go for what brings in happiness, for what brings in contentment and fulfillment and harmony balance what keeps us in balance as opposed to throwing us off and throwing us you know in in some sort of a vicious cycle or a loop or a spiral of any kind 
to focus on balance, to focus on stability. I mean, that may be emotional, financial, mental, spiritual, health-wise, okay? Um, to focus on our balance because that's our peace of mind. That's our tranquility. That's our serenity. That's where healing comes in. That's where we can release tension and negative energy or residual energy. That's where we can hope. That's where we have clarity, okay? That's what the high priestess represents. And again, it's important to use our wisdom and everything that we've learned along the way and to show that through our actions, to show that we have learned, to show that we have grown, to show that we have not gone through those experiences for nothing. We've learned from them. And so then we use what we've learned, okay? Our power thought card for today Again, about balance. I like how the power thought cards tie in with our tarot and oracle cards. I balance my masculine and feminine sides. The masculine and feminine parts of me are in perfect balance and harmony. Those are those um, words again, balance and harmony. I am at peace, peace, and all is well. Now, this means a balance between male and female energies a balance between knowing when to act and push forward and knowing when to pull back and be a little bit more passive um, when action will serve us and when inaction will serve us more um, it's also about understanding that we are the ruler of our own lives okay a lot of people say it can be you know something easy to say and not as easy to fully grasp we do get to choose there's always a choice there is always a choice and yes there are more difficult circumstances than others and yes there are difficult times and times of confusion and times of struggle but no one can take away our sense of inner peace unless we give it away, unless we take, you know, we, um, unless we give it away to someone else, we give someone that power over us to make us feel unhappy and settled, like we're not good enough and so on and so forth. It's all our choice. So even if everything is chaotic at one time or another, it's bound to be, this is, you know, life, we still can choose to look for the peace in any circumstance, to look for the harmony, to look for the balance. We still get to choose what we let affect us. And we still get to choose what we want to do about a situation. Now, yes, there may be situations that we can't just change overnight, even though we choose to say we want to, but the choice is still there and we're working towards it. And so even if, let's say, for example, we're stuck in a job that we don't like, that we hate, okay, that's a strong word, that is draining, but still it's a job. And we have started to look for other jobs, but we, we're not finding any jobs right now, or we're not finding any better jobs right now. It's different to go to that job that we don't like, knowing in our hearts that, you know what, I'm looking for something better and I will find something better, and focusing on that sense of inner peace that job and the circumstances will affect us in a whole different way than say focusing on the fact that we we do not like that job we don't want to be there because that's going to create even more tension chaos pressure and it may you know cause more conflict than it needs to and so we go into the job that we don't like and yes we don't like the job and it's okay to admit that to ourselves however it is a job in a time where not a lot of people have jobs. So we can be thankful for that. And so we find the peace and the blessing in that. And then we cement or we deepen that sense of peace and hope by focusing on the fact that, you know what, I've learned a lot from this job, even if it's just what not to do or what I don't deserve. And I am now applying that and looking for the kind of job that I do want and I know I will find it, okay? And so I take this whole experience as a lesson learned or as a lesson in progress. 
I will do my best with it. I will not let it knock me down. I will not let it take away my, my hope. Okay? And that can be applied in any situation. It's just the, the energy, okay, that we're describing here. So that's our message. I hope that it makes sense. I hope that it helps if you're dealing with, with these types of energies. Um, let me know what the cards talk about for you. I'm looking forward to your comments, as always. Um, thank you so much for joining me, and thank you for your patience. And remember that we do have specials running, um, as well as um, the other types of uh, private readings up on the website. So all the links you need are in the description box below. And it looks like a beautiful day because it's a day that reminds us that we get to choose and we get to take action in a direction that we want to go in as opposed to being feeling lost or just blowing in the wind, going wherever the wind takes us and feeling powerless, okay? So I hope the messages help. Let's have a beautiful day and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Take care.